You're watching The Dean Show. This is the mail bag. We're taking a call right now. Yes, I know I've had you on hold. I appreciate that. Go ahead. And what's the question? Okay, we got it. Th thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, and be sure to watch us right here on The Dean Show. You know, every week, same time. That's right. Rightio. Okay. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. All right. This is Yusuf Estes. We're here on The Dean Show. This is the mail bag. And we take calls. Uh, when it's live, when it's a live program, this is, we take the calls. Now, let me uh, go to the question of our caller, which coincides with one that I had received here. Let me find it. Here it is. This is asking a question about Jesus. And what do we believe about Jesus? Can Jesus be God? First of all, thank you for asking me about my religion. That's what we always say. We have the truth and we have the proof. The truth is, I can't lie or I go to hell. <laughs> that's in my religion. The other thing is, we have the evidence anyway. What does the Quran tell us about Jesus? We believe in a man by the name of Isa. Now, if you call him Jesus, that's up to you, but we know his name is Isa, and he was a miracle birth. His mother was named Miriam. We have a chapter of the Quran named after her, chapter 19. And his miracle birth, there was no human intervention here. There was no man. There was nobody who uh, uh, fertilized uh, any egg and, and implanted it in her like they do in modern days or anything like that. She had a miracle birth, and it was by the will of God. Almighty Allah willed it to be done. He says, Kun fayakun, be and it is. And that's how Jesus came about. But does that mean he's God? Well, how is it that we got... Adam in the first place. If he was <laughs> anything less than a miracle, I'd like to know because he has no father or mother. Adam was created from dirt and Allah blew life into him. And then let's take the example of Eve. Eve was taken from a bone from Adam. We have this in our Quran, by the way. If you didn't know that, you need to know that we know Eve, she is created from Adam. And from these two, Allah says, they brought forth many people, many tribes, many nations, Allah brought forth on the earth. And he made us different from each other that we recognize each other. But at the same time, we look at Eve and we say, we would not worship her, even though she was born and created without any mother. We don't worship Adam. We don't worship Eve. So why should we worship Jesus? Just because he didn't have a father. Makes sense? There's another point, too, is let us look to Jesus and think, peace be upon him. Did he eat food? Yeah. Does God have to eat? Did Jesus sleep? Does God have to sleep? Allah doesn't sleep. He says in the Quran, Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayu qayyum, la ta'khuduhu sinatun wal anam that he is Allah, beside whom there's none other to worship. The all-living, he's always living. He's never been created. He didn't just start up one day. No, he's always living and always self-subsisting. He doesn't need anything. He's not needy at all. And then it says he doesn't sinatun, doesn't grow weary, <laughs> and he doesn't gnome, he doesn't sleep. God doesn't get tired. He doesn't go into that twilight zone of uh, and he doesn't sleep because he's Allah he's not like a human so get that in your mind but now what about eating if you eat don't you have to go to the bathroom and you want to say that God went to the bathroom I would be still for Allah this is too much for the Muslim mind to even contemplate that you would put God in the creation although we immediately recognize from the Quran itself that Jesus fulfilled scripture. He fulfilled prophecy. He came to fulfill prophecy that he would be the Messiah, that he would be the miracle birth, born of a virgin, and he was. And when he came, he brought a mighty message, and the message was, worship God without partners, to know, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord, and you have to love him and worship him with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. That's in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. Very clear. And that's the message of Jesus. Not worshiping him, but worshiping the one he worshiped. Who did Jesus worship when he prayed? And he said, and you pray who? 
to the one above. And how do you pray? God, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And when he was in the trials and the fitna that was coming about in Gethsemane, and he prayed and he was asking God, let this cup pass from me, but even so your will be done. Who's he talking to? Himself? And on the cross, according to the people that have him on the cross, the one on the cross is saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And we wouldn't accept this. We won't accept that because no prophet would say God was forsaken them. It's the devil who is forsaken, not any of the prophets of God. They were always in the best care of Almighty God. And this is why Muslims say what we do. We believe that it is true that he is a mighty prophet. He is a miracle birth. He is the Messiah. He's Jesus, or in Arabic, he's Isa. This is our belief. If you want to know more about it, though, go to the website for this purpose. Go to Bible Islam. BibleIslam.com. Check it out for yourself and see what you think. And send us more emails like this or call us during our live shows. Let's return you back to the program in progress. You're watching The Dean Show right here.